Hello, my name is Ryan Harp, and this is going to be the week three project for FTT 114. In this week's project, we're going to be using the Kydex mold press that we uh, built last week to actually press a Kydex holster. So the holster that we're going to do, we're going to uh, make a holster for the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 9mm uh, and we're going to be making it uh, to fit this Streamlight TLR2. Uh, so what we're going to do to use this or to get this ready is we've got some uh, large tongue depressors, popsicle sticks, um, some cut up wood uh, that we have that we're going to use to to build the mold around the gun so we're able to get it in and out of the holster. And we're going to use an array of these tools behind me um, to accomplish our total feat. So we've got the scroll saw, our sander, and the drill press uh, just off to the side. We're going to use that. Um, we're also going to be using uh, <clears throat> my Dremel to smooth some things out, make our final cuts. And what we're going to be basing our design off of is this Kydex holster that I've had for a few years. It's kind of lost its fit. This one is for the M&P 1.0, um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to modify essentially this same design to, to fit the 2.0. So in this, they use a combination of eyelets, screws, um, belt loops. It looks like they heated it after they molded it to, to bend it over to the side. We're going to base our design off of this. So our rough sketch is going to be this. Um, we're going to use this for all of our measurements, taking into account the bends that we're going to have. Um, we're going to heat the Kydex in an oven down there. And we're going to do uh, the, the, the two piece mold uh, for, our, for our retention device.